awkward. <laughs> anyway, information flash banged him. <sighs> Let's see which week was it. There it is. <clears throat> Actually, we're all here. I probably asked that. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't think O is making it. Just conversing with wife. Yes, here. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, I got ordered the egg salate here. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> so it's like a very shitty, shitty dish, if I'm being honest, but. <laughs> just eggs with a bunch of cilantro on it. Let's be honest. <laughs> Alright, so, um, egg dishes aside, <laughs> from one type of egg to the other type of egg, what happened last time? Ooh. Uh, so it started with us in the little, uh, I guess house is the best term to use. I, I medical word that we've been kind of relegated to since we um were blown up by a nuke. Um, Oops. Yeah. A number of us wake up to, uh, including Denver, uh, and we wake up to the yeah. realization that uh, seems Falk and Eva, as well as uh, Roma and no Roma was unconscious. Uh, Falk, Eva, and Hawk. No, fuck me. Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> fuck and Eva are the same, and Hawk are the same person. I got him mixed up with motherfucking Fias. Can someone else take over real quick? I need a minute. <laughs> oh my god, they killed Hawk. Oh my god, Hawk Hawk killed Hawk. No. <laughs> that would be the greatest, like, family guy skit, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so you guys did awaken in the hospice, um Dahlia included. Uh you guys were missing a Falk and Eva and Roma was not getting up. Not because she's like unconscious like zero HP, but just because just she was she was just awake. Sleeping. You were awake last night and are just sleeping in. Yep. Which actually by the timeline of today works out perfectly. I mean yeah, that kinda does. <laughs> yeah. But we'll get there when we get there. Um uh, let's see. I believe Arnie came in with some some breakfast for you guys, some 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 sandwiches and stuff like that. Began distributing those out. There's some uh, hesitation because there's eggs in the sandwich, and everyone's like, mm. "Dahlia, <laughs> like, who didn't, Dahlia know. didn't know that?" I just <laughs> wolfed it. it down immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, understandable. <laughs> and then everyone get, use that as like safe um, safe harbor. Like, okay. <laughs> not immediately turn into a progeny. Not that that's how that would work anyways. You know, can't eat one of those eggs, but... Which... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Deli still doesn't know. <laughs> you guys wow. have the general knowledge of Falk and Eva being a way to handle his business. Quote-unquote his business. Business. And Fias just remarks that they'll be fine. Fitness. Um, let's see... I believe you guys had a bit of uh, chit chat with um, Ted, Teddy. Um, Arya threw a little bit of shade at Ted, and uh, that culminated in them having a quote unquote fight, which um, <laughs> Arya was allowed first hit, and he he used that first hit to throw something at at Ted, who just leaned back and dodged it. Long, <laughs> and, and they proceeded to do a flying uh, knee into his freaking sternum <laughs> from like ten feet away. <laughs> Effectively, just turned the man off. Just <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a fun fact. Um, if you get hit in that area, that's where your um, where your diaphragm is. Um, but there's like a little flap in that separates your stomach guts from your upper torso guts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you hit there, it messes that's with that diaphragm? membrane. Is it the diaphragm? Oh, let's go. I'm pretty I'm, sure I'm, it is because it's I the. It I mean, slow. it's the I'm part genius. that <laughs> you are. It's the part that makes you breathe. It is. Happens to also be in that area. Wait, this is why when you get punched there, fucking kicks the wind really out hard. of you. Yep. yep. <laughs> or in this case, when you get need there. So yeah, Arnie got um, his power button hit. By, by <laughs> Windows startup noise. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then Ted is like, "All right, let's get this day started." Um, I believe. I believe. Let's see. It broke out too because we only had four people present. Um, <laughs> Fred and Cop. Caradoc and Badger went to go 
to a tailor shop because yeah. Karadok wanted to have some embroidery done for a, I'll call it ritualistic or honorific purpose. And then and then Badger just wants to get some new duds. Um, Ted accompanied them because he also responded, yeah, he could use a bit of a cut and a shave and a clean up himself. So, you know, he, he attended with you guys. Um, meets a while. Jin was going to go to uh, a place off in the woods. Uh, first it's talking to uh, Grover about um, well, my bad. Dahlia wanted to talk to Grover, and mm. uh, Jen needed to go pick up Shroud uh, for this 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 little advent that you guys are going on, a little adventure, one might say. But I digress. <laughs> so you guys split up. What happened on the way there? To your respective locations, that is. Oh, and Roma stayed behind, and Arnie was uh, there to keep tabs on you. And the, and everyone was a bit sus at that, but then the plant supposedly uh, is keeping an eye on him. The, the humidifier plant. It's the humidifier plant. <laughs> cool, cool humidifier. There, there was um, <laughs> one thing we skipped over uh, before we headed out. Uh, Karadok wanted to mend some smaller, you know, wear and tear yeah. damage. And there was a flashback to when he asked uh, Nova for the lodestones. Uh, right. And they had a little bit of a talk about, yeah, don't, don't don't try big stuff because time magic. Yes, mending is technically a chronergy spell in the setting, technically. Um, if you cast mending too much on an object, you might just regress it in a positive <laughs> or negative way, and you don't know which way. Yes. The other significant... Uh, Part of that exchange was the uh, uh, forget-me-nots that Nova carries. Uh, they're in stasis, so they never change. So they had a little bit of a conversation about the significance of that and why she carries the flowers with her. She's had them since she was a kid, <clears throat> and that's all she wrote. Yep. So, See flashback is uh, the basis for uh, basically your guys, all your guys' gear. Getting repaired and that's getting replaced with either clothing or new armors or whatever. What have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on the way to the tailors, um, <laughs> both Ted and Caradoc had some questions for Badger about his <laughs> curious dagger. It is a pretty curious dagger, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's. You know, it was thrown into him by the Briar Queen, but somehow there's a, a Elonian Newman's presence, energy about it that mm. so happens to be tied to Caradoc because it's Sir, Sir Jarvis, the retaliator from his hometown. <laughs> yeah, crazy how that works, huh? Mm. Life is full of many mysteries, Fred boy. Mm-hmm. Tinfoil is on. Very. <laughs> indeed, 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 indeed. So, and what else? What other inquisition did you lay upon? If anything at all. Uh, let me check. Um, I believe Badger had an epiphany about what he needs to be doing with the dagger. I don't know if Cop wants to share that epiphany himself. Since he's muted, he might be busy. He might be dealing with your ball and chain. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I can't help myself. Oh god, it's so fun. <laughs> she, she, she's, she's free to hate me, it's okay. Yeah, He's, he did say that <laughs> <he> was... <laughs> Is he figured out that he's meant to use it as uh, a means um, in the defense of others? And at that point, I believe we swapped over to the other gang for a bit when they went to see Grover. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. You guys had a little chat with Grover. Mm hmm. Oh, Blash in general, technically, but Grover. Just a yeah. little chit chat. Uh, what Just did your chat involve? Jin didn't talk it, to them very much. Uh, it mainly involved the uh, palm that um, Roma gave uh, Dahlia that she totally still has. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
that I definitely didn't give up uh, to Grover for reasons that involve Irina. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's a discussion that's not going to come up unless Roma asks. <laughs> it was definitely in hey, a hermetically Dalia. sealed jar. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what the but fuck yeah, is a it palm? Involved... Just check your hand. <laughs> At first, it um, it was Dahlia looking to find a way to preserve it. Hmm. Uh, because, you know, after being nuked, she was like, hmm, well, I, w I wanted to find a way to preserve it, but I don't know what condition it's in. Not great condition, but, but, but still usable to the point where after some poking and prodding from, um, from Nova, uh, appreciate, appreciate, lover, uh, Grover agreed to take a look at it and um, prompted the question of uh, hey, can I see this? Can I try something? Uh, and eventually, I don't remember the exact words, but that line of questioning led to how did did Roma care for for uh, Irene? And Dahlia made the executive, deci executive decision to say just So he does. He has it. Uh, he's probably going to Use it soon, sooner rather than later. Uh -huh. Um, I love the girl. I think that's essentially what happened with Grover. He also had asked Dahlia why she's an alchemist, um, which her eventual answer was, uh, I make things that are helpful for myself, protect myself to help me, etc. Um, I'm trying to think of what else was discussed in that room in general. I know Shroud was asking, you guys ready to leave, or are we mm. staying, or what's what? What's poppin', players? <laughs> no, what's poppin', pop pop but I will uh, let you, Garth, take over that if you want. No! Uh, yeah, sure. Um, he, he kept prodding. Not in a rude way, but just like, hey, we ready to go? And it's like, okay, sure. We now it's as good a time as any. Uh, he only asked twice. Hmm, that, that's prodding. Um. Uh. Thank you. My train of thought doesn't exist now. Um. Right. Yes. Because <laughs> earlier Jen was kind of stalling, so Dahlia had some time to recover, and Dahlia is very <laughs> stubborn and won't recover <laughs> i was like you bastard because this uh this thing's gonna take a couple days to get to adalia was like yeah. falling over still basically and she's like nah i'm fine let's just go it's like okay let's go to grover so you can have a little bit of a walk at least dear god um <laughs> but speaking of it being a few days uh it wasn't um because shroud just uh has a well not has a scroll he he made a scroll uh mimicking nova Nova's butterfly ability to a degree. It's you can see where inspired the basis by. is from. Inspired by you can see where the basis is from, but it's not exactly the same thing. Uh, where it just kind of transforms everyone into a flock of birds, just blackbirds. I think it was conspiracy of ravens. Yes, yes, I can see ravens. Which um, if Alec were here last week, he would know that's a direct reference to a Sekiro. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> it's literally called, it's a prosthetic ability you get. Mm. I don't know how a prospect Mist turned you into a bunch of birds, but it does, because... I don't know. Because shh, shh, don't worry about it. Was, uh, it Mist here, right? was Mist Raven, yeah? Yep. <laughs> Mist Raven. Um, yeah, which made uh, travel much faster. It took... I think in the end we calculated about half an hour to get there, as opposed Wait, to right? several days in, like, round trip. I, I forget. What was the thing that made Nova go, like... He he he. Uh, oh, right, she was so spying in. And then <laughs> yeah. when Shroud had mentioned, you know, this is kind of inspired off of her ability, uh, we noticed the door was ajar and look over, and there's Little Miss fucking Speedster uh, spying in. <laughs> oh, giggling oh, at got us. It, got it. Well, I had Shroud. Shroud's the one who should be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, uh, immediately Shroud's like, oh no, what have I created? <laughs> <laughs> I feel um, like I'm about to get teased later. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> that you sounds are. like a you problem. Um, yeah, they 
they piss off to the giant tree. On the way over, uh, we managed to get some good rolls. on the giant tree. Don't piss on the giant sacred tree, I'm tap- please! I'm tapping my forehead. You can't see it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I can sense it in the force. Um, yes, we go to the giant tree. On the way over, we have some good perception checks and detect that there is uh, another flock of birds. But not like a flock of birds, but like the, it's similar to the flock of birds that we are currently. So it's like, something is up. And Jin was pretty immediately like, that is almost assuredly red. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, it, it, in a choice that he pretty quickly regretted, kind of pointed her out to Shroud. <laughs> oh god. I was like, perhaps, immediately perhaps after that. Her friends would like to keep their secrecy. <laughs> perhaps. Um... I, he, he was thinking, like, I think fun, healthy competition would be good here. And if she surpasses him, then whatever. If he catches her, hey, that's a boost for a confidence for him. And then after that, I was like, I should shut the fuck up next time, actually. Hold on. <laughs> she at least wasn't pissed. She seemed more disappointed. Regardless, um, she basically uh, points out, like, oh, uh, since you got here fast and expected, the, the storm will not wait. Uh, it is coming. And we look up, and the storm that was supposed to be there in several days was actually approaching um, now. Uh, because magic. Mm-hmm. Um, Jin is tasked with climbing a tree. Uh, discards most of his equipment besides, like, Kanabo, really. And uh, gets yeah, it's a... Like, it's not like a 300-something foot tall tree that on, in the midst of sudden rain on the dry surface. You know, the perfect weather conditions for... Slipping Eating shit. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. Uh, it'll be fine. Um, uh, climbs a tree. Uh, out of game. He barely climbs a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he barely climbs a tree. He has, he rolls so bad the entire so, time. Like, like, it's not even like, because we don't control our rolls, right? If I was the case, I'd be a lot happier as Quint last week. No, you just rolled un- very unfortunately. Uh, yeah. but. You did bust out a lot of abilities to give yourself the success, or get yourself the success. Yeah, it only cost one or Everything. two Toma favor things in the end. <laughs> but he made it. It was really funny, because after the fact, you you were mentioning, like, yeah, you had a few things to give you a boost, like the Kanabo for existence. Um, but it was such a small boost that it really meant nothing, because you either yeah, man, got, like, a 20 yeah. or, like, a 4. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it was like if, if it were rolled ever in that middling range, it would have mattered. But it never mattered. <laughs> never, no, nothing in the middle. Only the extremes, apparently. Like we could scroll up and see the nat one F legs and the nat twenty F legs immediately thereafter. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, while he's climbing the tree, though, um, at the not the base of the tree because the tree is on a bit of a hill. So in the I guess valley around the hill kind of vibe. Um, yeah, it is slowly filling up with mist, uh, <laughs> and there's just sounds of. Things and stuff moving in the darkness. Well, the quote, quote, first darkness. thing that uh, Dahlia noticed was Mina was essentially going to have another panic attack. Mm-hmm. She was having um, a horrible time. A poor girl. Horrible yeah. girl. <laughs> we'll talk which, to her about it later. Uh, Maybe. Which was, you know, because of the the Dahlia thought at first the rain, but um, she clarified it was the mist, and um. At some point, she, I think it was she pointed out that there was something stalking them in the, in the mist where they couldn't see. And, uh, and Dahlia, you know, called over Shroud's attention, who already knew that there was something out there. And then we formed a a triangle, their backs against each other. Uh, observing what was out there. I... Don't think much progressed of course it is. Um, until uh, Jin did his thing. It's MF and Thang. MF and Thang. It's um, MF and Thang. What was the MF and Thang? Uh, I fell out of the tree. No. Um, <laughs> and died. Jin's dead. He he nearly did at the at the last one with like the yeah. highest <laughs> failure <Yeah>. rates. <laughs> Like, to the point where Red, by the way, was um, any time he was climbing the tree, she was just kind of a branch above him, looking down, judging. Uh, because, fucking dramatic. She was also not being impacted by the rain. Like, it was kind of going through her, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Oh. Definitely not suspicious at all, or in well, any way. It's like, it didn't go through her. 
it would hit her, it just wouldn't leave anything. If that makes sense, right? Like a hydrophobic oh. surface. Yeah. But that's oh, equivocally okay. the same as not being affected by it, right? If it doesn't do any like leave any mark on you. Yes right? and no, because that does change my thought process on the situation. <laughs> she was um, physically there, if or at least Yeah, that's the like important point. There. Um Well there you go, have a gorfa. Don't piss on the tray now. Um da, 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 da. she is up there, she is hydrophobic and homophobic. <laughs> um <laughs> You are from Japan, so yeah, possible. Uh, he, he ends up almost falling, and she just dramatically turns her back like, you have disappointed me, and then he climbs up the rest of the way. It's like, oh, okay. And also, she doesn't want to watch. <laughs> yeah, I was more so like, like, it hurts her to see you fail. Like that, <laughs> coming so far, she just turns away like, god damn it. Another one she... might I thought it was better, and then it's like, oh, wait, shit, he's actually climbing. Hold up, hold up, wait a second. Oh, um, it, it's, it's a fucking invincible <laughs> meme where I thought you were stronger. <laughs> <laughs> no! Um, yeah, he does get to the top. Uh, from his, uh, determination, the tree seems to be embodying some, at the very least, aspect of his Newman? Uh, or is maybe a pathway for the Newman to temporarily be here. I don't know. Regardless, he gets to the top of the tree and sees effectively a dragon in the clouds and everything. It's fucking cool. Uh, and pulling a Zuko... Just shouts to the clouds, strike me, hit me, try me, kind of shit. And unlike Zuko, he does get hit by lightning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zuko wishes he could have been hit by lightning and given himself his own redemption, but that's not how life works for him. But for you, on the other hand, catch these lightning hands. <laughs> Big lightning stick. Um, yeah. And uh, he, he yeah. does, in the end, have uh, some zappies going around him, and he's able to <laughs> I guess control it to a degree. I don't know. He, he's able to exert his will on it now. A little bit. Um, so he's cool. He could do that. He starts climbing down the tree. Uh, getting a vibe of the tree. Turns out that it's kind of dying now that it's served its purpose. Well, it was kind of dying before, and now it was given a greater purpose, but only temporarily. And now that greater purpose is served, it's kind of whoo, back to normal. Yep. Lightning hit you and echoed throughout the tree to the point where you can see the roots underground through the electricity. Which is not how that, that works for a in real life or in science, but <laughs> well, we'll fucking, we'll shit. fucking this isn't shut up. It's cool. <laughs> Nature magic science shit. I don't know, man. Go talk to <laughs> Grover about it. But, um... That's how a root fire starts and you start burning underground. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Which is kind of a sick concept. Which is metal as hell, but also dangerous as hell because you can't stop it. Uh-oh. Why is this ground so warm, Dixville? Oh, God! That was actually <laughs> probably one of the worst uh, worst things that happened to someone. It's like they dug and then they gave it a vent to shoot out from. Ooh. Oh, God, it would absorb That's all crazy. the air That's instantly. Crazy, right? Yeah, right, it's crazy. I digress, moving on. But uh, in the wow, light down. of the lightning, Dahlia was able to see what was stalking the group uh, <laughs> at the <laughs> in the valley. Um, yeah, it looks like that. He's an adorable little boy! <laughs> Aww, the boy. Mia, Mia doesn't really think so. It uh, it has six legs. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else that happened. Uh, it had gills at the base of its neck, at webbed feet, right. a right. fin, but also barbed tail. Uh, sort of like um. Oh god, not pufferfish. Um, a grouper, like a really big grouper, oh. has like ridges on its back that have like poisonous thorns, thorns pricks on the main piece of it. I digress. So, yeah, it is an amphibious creature. Well, um. it was originally an amphibious. Creature. <laughs> I guess it still is amphibious, right? It can breathe yeah. air and water. In fact, it doesn't breathe at all. So, exactly, Ooh, it, it's all-terrain vehicle now. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> In any case, um. Mm -hmm. Forgive me if I'm missing some things in between, but <laughs> eventually it approaches from the mist. Um, it approaches Mina, who is terrified and has Aww. already, or was, was terrified. She eventually adopts a very calm demeanor and is just kind of like, we're already dead. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's Sandy or stress level 100 where it's like, does it matter? Yeah, we're already dead if this is the case. So <laughs> well so Dahlia is only at like seventy-five, yeah. eighty-five of like we can still have a chance. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's like lol, no. But they're actually um, actually you're down there. Roll, roll me a 
a histoire. 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 Hist histoire. I think histoire is actually how you say it in français. Maybe. Me? Oh, oh histoire, yeah. Take notes, Fred. This is how to make a character more immersive in the world. <laughs> Some histoire. <laughs> uh, I would have guidance, unfortunately. 13. Wolf. I can't remember. This thing barks, didn't it? It does bark. It did. And, bark. And, and, it's a, other it's a wet bark. It's a wet bark. Yeah. It's a like fucking a dog. What? <laughs> yeah. It's something that can't do it. Dogs uh, come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> I will say, out of, out of the 13, there is a, something that Mina had a suspicion on that she was able to tell that you guys, at a certain point, weren't dead. I'll give you that. So there's a hint. Um, Sorry, say that one more time. I don't think I understood. There is a... By a certain point, there is a way that Mina was able to discern that you guys were not, in fact, lambs to the slaughter. Which definitely helped her state of mind. And probably spiked her intrigue. But regardless, she was able to tell that you guys weren't dead. That whatever this missed embankment with uh, Murama is... It was not your guys' death bell. Your, not your curtain call. Is it... Um, I didn't... Adalia wouldn't have any notion of this, but is it because she didn't hear the whistle? Very good. Yes, because she didn't hear death's hey. whistle. So that's the she was able to tell. Good job, I remember that. Take an inspiration. I have one. Can I combine it? Well, fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, you can make a muffin. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's your mega inspiration. Muffin time! Muffin! <laughs> we have these buttons for a reason. <laughs> Alec, how does it feel knowing that you that's your voice? You're immortal. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very, very good response. That's a very good response to that. That was, very... <laughs> that was so dramatic. <laughs> that's right, though. Uh, so... so uh, oh, God, if... Death avoided for the time being, at least. Death avoided what twice because I get struck by lightning. Mm. Very um, good point. Very good point. Uh, while you guys were hanging out with cool dog, really cool dog. Jin is sad that he didn't get to see the cool dog. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, wait, no, he did get to see. Jin it. doesn't even know the cool dog existed, uh, you, and also you, he should be lucky. He doesn't feel like he was gonna die. You <laughs> saw it from a distance through mist. So right, the glowing kind of effect I, of it. Ro yeah, roll me your perception. I could roll your perception real quick. Oh wait, I'm not Bradford. I can't Which... add fifteen things. Um, perception. Where are you? Which, if mist is anything mm. like fog, wouldn't it make it harder to see with light? Um, it depends on how the light is situated in it. In this instance, um, yes. <laughs> if there was like a, if you were in the mist itself, yes, it would. But remember that you guys were in like a gr like a little pocket where oh, there wasn't were. mist. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. So thusly, that would almost like it wouldn't occlude it. It would almost highlight its presence there. You know what I'm saying? Because it doesn't bounce. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have all the shit around it to bounce around. If anything, all the light bounces back into it. Um, yeah, light light can also make it harder to see because, like you said, it illuminates the immediate mist around it. So it's like yeah, even worse. But in a pocket of mist, a pocket. Yes. No. Pocket. And if not, then I don't care. <laughs> It's magical light. Damn your physics. Out of 30, I'll say you saw it. <laughs> cool dog! A bit, a bit blurry, like like a granular effect because of all the mess, but um, there's noise, yeah. noise in your eyes. <laughs> Fair enough. Please yeah. Uh, But before uh, interacting with that, um, <laughs> Red and him heard something. Uh, Red, <laughs> I, I think Red heard it better than him and described it as uh, whimpering. <laughs> Yes, nibbling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. She's like, go check it out. I'm like, all right. Uh, he went around to the other side of the tree, saw two two green ears poking out of the mist uh, and sniveling. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, um, yeah. Jin takes about two steps in the mist. Can't see shit. Steps out of the mist and basically calls out to uh, what is revealed to be a goblin and basically guides him on over to the uh, little hill. Uh, 
convinces the goblin not to immediately run away, which isn't hard considering the situation, uh, and just mm. tag along with him, and I'll keep you safe. Uh, it's oh, back. <laughs> He'll throw rock. Oh, wait, no, he has a short bow. He'll shoot anything that comes near, as long as he is very far away. <laughs> oh, he's not green, damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, you did add a little token. I can make it green. I can make, make it green. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Perfect. There he is. He's green now. If you see he's anything otherwise, now. you're racist. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we get that guy. Um, we don't learn his name yet, which is a, a stalling Perfect. tactic I have to uh, find his name later. <laughs> um, I think about that point is when they end up uh, Jin and his new uh, uh, compatriot end up joining with the rest of the group. Uh, Miss seems to go away. Uh, cool dog, I believe, takes its leave. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think it. I think it came here because it wanted to say goodbye, which is sad. That's what Mina intuited from it. All right. <laughs> uh, whether or not she's right, you now it's it's your call. All right. Just wanted to say hi to to person. Um, it's like saying goodbye to a, a bedridden, terminally ill friend of yours. Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah, it's, a lot, it's a lot different, though, isn't it? Uh, a little bit. Um, yeah, we meet up. Uh, point out goblin, uh, friend in quotation marks. Hi. <laughs> I love the voice. <laughs> um, everyone's like, what the fuck? Why is there a goblin out here? And then Denver, the one with the most experience, is like, well, there's just a raiding party around. That's all. It, that's the only thing it could be. <laughs> there, there is a war party, and I'm going to threaten the shit out of this little guy until he tells us where. <laughs> war, war party, raiding party is potentially accurate, but it depends. Okay, um, situational. We'll usually it is, but on this side of of the lake, it is, but not always. Mm. Um, war party, war band. Those are the general nomenclature for for these right. sorts of groups. Either way, where there's one, there's more. Yes. Yes. It's uh, very weird to find a goblin by itself, unless it's Badger, in which case then he technically isn't by himself. He has you guys, depending on your guys' uh, <laughs> confidant link level. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's weird. Awkward. He's weird. Yeah. <laughs> He's okay with being weird. That's, you know what? <laughs> it's it's yourself, little guy. He is. He just is weird. Um. So yeah, we end up uh, heading back to town. The way this guy gets back to town is uh, Shroud pops a Nova Flare, <laughs> and she just Nova grabs him and fucking leaves. And it's <laughs> yeah, I think it was like, I think she was like, "What is that? What does that mean? What is it?" <laughs> and then he was gone. <laughs> he also threatened to throw him into orbit if he's a little bitch. So <laughs> like, we had to yeah, I know what the concept of orbit was. Most of you guys wouldn't know what the concept of orbit is. <laughs> The, because the I best... would imply going that high. Yeah. The the best shout Jin had was, hey, you see the big tree? Imagine 30 of those high up there. You're going up there. <laughs> Gotta get Sonic slammed into orbit. It's Rick Toss. So, what is this fellow's name? Blit. blit. This is it Blit. It is Blit. Yes. What a fitting goblin name. He's, he's gonna be a Blit on your guys' radar. I will kill myself now for a terrible joke. Be right back. Crash now! <laughs> Don't worry, he has like that, 50 is, lives. Alright, I'm back. What's radar? It's, um, it's a blitz to <laughs> goblin for Bliet. Bliet! Suka Bliet! Dude, that'd be so funny, but unfortunately the Russians are in the CR Empire. Womp womp. Wah wah wah. Yeah, Funnily yeah, enough, the wah, goblins in this setting are like a bit more Roman esque in terms of their civilization. That's nutty. Macar. I'm a car. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. They're, They're destroyed the Roman Empire. War their war council is like a tribunal. It is like a senate, except you know, unlike Didn't, the actual, uh... unlike the actual senate, they they killed their way up to the top, sort of like shadows of war. If ever those of you that played that, or shadows of Mordor, whichever one. Yes, Didn't yes, Rome yes. Get sacked like a dozen times by the Germanic <laughs> tribes. Germany's <laughs> right fucking there. Well, I'm, I'm get sacked. I'm just saying, Alec. You know, you're free to interpret this alternate history however you see fit, my friend. Well, Alec Germanic, technically, that goes into, like, Northern Europe, even switching right, into France, <laughs> and you really want to go there. <laughs> you love it, enjoy the cause. <laughs> Moving on. Anyways, uh, yeah, we get the goblin, head back to town, meet up with everyone at the tailor shop, drift out of their gourds. Um, yep, yep, yep. 
Oh, that's uh, right, because embroidery was done at that point. Yeah, because we could just move that fast. Yeah, um, that's why Ted even like paid for it. The, <laughs> Ted, the drip, I mean. Ted paid for it. He even, he even uh, handed over some silver thread for the tailor to use, uh, it was the tailor didn't have. What was it silver? Uh, it was uh, Azure. Mm. Azure Blue. There you go. There's a the difference. So the homeless man is rich. Huh? The homeless man is more than he appears. Surprising, wow, probably none of you. Yep. Um, yeah, we show Blit to the other goblin, uh, and with uh, help of Badger and very intimidating forces, we dis uh, we discover that a bit south of us, probably like a day or two, uh, is a goblin war band uh, that sounds to be only goblins. Yep, which it is, is uh, surprisingly about a score rare. Of goblins. Yeah, about a score of goblins. It happens. Uh, it's not super rare, but it's definitely uncommon. Yeah. Um, again, got an uncommon draw. To, as Badger would deeply know uh, and fall, not that he's present for this, but he would peripherally know. You know, these sorts of bands are either specialist groups, like they're all really sneaky fuckers, or they're like a suicide squad. Have fun die. <laughs> be cannon fodder. So are we some kind of suicide squad? By the way, you don't find a suicide squad! Jesus. You're about to be an executed squad if you don't shut the fuck up, bro. Alright, really? Hey, 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 hey. I get it, get it, get it. So, yeah. Well, um, which one they are, who knows? Um, well, I get a blit nose, in theory. Hopefully. Then again, it's blit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we hang out with them. Uh, while we're all having this conversation, the uh, bird, I say in quotation marks, uh, flapper did flapper. Thank you. Uh, did come down with us while we we're talking and was just kind of watching. Uh, as we're talking, another one of the progeny progeny uh, shows up. I don't think we have a name for this one. No, yeah, I've never got his name. <laughs> Gonna keep it that way. Um, uh, well, actually, we call him Greg. Uh, Thimble is his, Thimble is his name. You have definitely said yeah. that in the past. I don't. I don't recall if you guys. If I just told you guys that out Actually, of game, no, I, that, you yeah, told us out of game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. You guys know that game now. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yes, yes he he point. he shows up and says, "Hello, my name is Thimble. Why is there another goblin?" Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, <laughs> Dahlia learns for the first time that there is a promise of not bringing any more goblins into town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Which was kind of affirmation asymmetry here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Which was kind of our mild saving grace of being like, genuinely, we didn't know or we would not have done this. We are so sorry to have brought disturbances upon your village. Please forgive us. And they seem and also he has amicable. good information. <laughs> We're not just what? bringing goblins in randomly. It's valuable <laughs> for your safety. I'll get rid of him. <laughs> Your Honor, for the record, <laughs> I wanted to kill this one. <laughs> Points at both of them. <laughs> no. Maybe. Y'all made Points liars out of Badger. <laughs> yeah. It's not that hard. Yes, you, you, you definitely took the brunt of the blame as, as the goblin on site. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm the one who made the promise. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Racist. Good. <laughs> <laughs> parentheses good. Parentheses <laughs> <laughs> parentheses compliment. <laughs> oh, we it's decide. Not easy being green. After getting the, uh, let's say, pardon from Thimble, um, mm. just don't do it again. <laughs> do not test them. Um, Have we been pardoned? Because I don't know. I think we're on our way to meet with people to talk about being. Yeah, talking. we were going to take. Split to the captains uh, after we shove them in a bag so no one else sees them. To um, talk to them about going to the big guy, big tongue guy, and talking to him about it. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think no, we're pardoned no. yet. No, we were going to um, go to oh, the um, captains the to discuss Gavins. how to best act on what we said we were going to do. Mm. What do we say we're going to do again? Find out what he knows and use that information in the defense of the city against the Goblin Horde. Gotcha. Okay, that. The Goblin Horde, Horde. is a strong <laughs> word. 
A then horror to weak. me sounds I like prefer, hundreds of units. I prefer a killing force worth of goblins, personally. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 which wave? Like six, five? Oh, we're oh, we're probably on only those numbers. Okay, I see. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we head on out. Uh, and that's kind of where we end the session of heading towards the captain's uh, goblin Blit and bag, bag. unconscious <laughs> immediately. Uh, sleeping. Sleeping. He immediately went... Yeah, fucking he immediately went home. Yeah, too. within like a minute yeah. of getting being abducted into that bag. Yeah. Right. And not only um, that, but he was fucking complaining about it at first, too. He was like, no, don't put me in a bag! <laughs> <laughs> I think Badger basically pointed out, I was like, yeah, we just do that. Point me at a sh uh, sharp rock, I could probably nap on it. He did tell you not to swing him around, because he'll get sick. Um, God, the I urge. would say one other point is that the tree was not close to town, so per Blitz's own alibi, if you want to call it that, <laughs> right. of being a, a scout to town, he right. was off the mark by like a day days. and a half to two days of northeast of town. <laughs> That's where the tree was. So either something waylaid him, or he's really incompetent. Yeah. Yes. Which are both very um, likely. Which also makes it slightly concerning of, the goblins might be attacking very soon then, if he's just been gone for several days. Yeah. But that's to be figured out later. It's just listen out for raiding goblins. Um, uh, did he tell you the name of his boss? I think he did, didn't he? he did. Uh, let me see. Uh, he did. I don't know what it was. Yeah, V-I-E-K-X. Vix. 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 <laughs> we also taught him manners to a small degree. <laughs> yes. Tried to. <laughs> Badger was really trying to, like, convert him to his nice goblin cults. <laughs> baffling kind of thing. You know, <laughs> no, it's like, it's Badger just tried to genuinely be nice, and I will just constantly shit up for some reason. Good. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Baby. That <was> so mean. <laughs> They're trying to see how far they can push them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pain. You're ready to go. Ready to go I want to see him break. <laughs> All right. So, I think that's a pretty thorough recap. Uh, necessitates since that one third of us were absent. <laughs> um. We discussed, I just remembered, we discussed Lutz Review a little bit, not a lot. Yeah, it so got brought up. Shroud, and uh, I believe the topic was uh, swept under the under things. <laughs> and then I also remember uh, Karadoc asking about it when uh, Dahlia first woke up. And I was like, do things have to change? No, that nothing's changed. <laughs> He was operating on the assumption that if this has been true this entire time, no knowing makes no difference. Mm -hmm. The facts have been constant throughout this whole time. So my opinion of you and how you behave and what to expect from you is the same. God, he expects things of me. I'm kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I think... I think Dolly also mentioned it to Ted because he could sense something. Yeah, Ted is uh, unsurprisingly, beyond his lack of eyesight, able to sense certain things off of certain people. What a freak. Pres presences, particularly. So he remarks that you have a presence about you that he could detect. Karadok has one. Most of you have one, I think. Yeah. yeah. Everyone but Badger, I thought. And then that he was like, we'll get there, or something. <laughs> yeah, like, suggesting, like, well, I'll work on that one, don't worry crazy did he did he mentioned that yeah that he was that he can sense. oh that he can sense. well he mentioned it to dahlia he didn't say it well he wasn't keeping it quiet either so i guess it's dealer's choice whether you guys heard that or not hmm. so let's get into things shall we shall we Mm. Yeah. Having this fourth monitor on my left is so great. I I have all of Discord open. I can just see every chat. All of you guys. This is great. This is this is, uh, this is awesome. <laughs> I feel so LinkedIn. But not yeah. LinkedIn. You, you got your battle station complete. Really? Yeah. I really. Oh, I, never, I, never, I never posted. I posted a picture to some of you guys last night, but I don't want yeah, to. Yeah. Uh, this is it in 